of course, challenges will happen. Things will appear and disappear. And there are times that you may feel like you're losing it or you're being extremely challenged. But know that those are the moments in life that are necessary for you to recognize your true power, for you to recognize your connection to yourself. It's an opportunity for us to stay focused and to touch and remembering the truth of who you are, that you're not disconnected from your own power source. You're not disconnected from Her Majesty, Lord God, that is shining in your heart. Those are the opportunities for you to fall back into this place because the other world got shaky and it forces you to go there, forces you to look and see who you really are and get in touch with your power. And when I say get in touch with your power, I'm not talking about power of manipulation putting your power on other people. I'm talking about the true power, the presence, the presence of God in your heart that overshadows any kind of fear and darkness. Because things keep popping up all the time. But you just stay in this place. And then by staying in this place, it will give you the vision to see what is an illusion, what is not real. If you ever get a chance, there was a there is a movie, a Hollywood movie came out in the 90s. It's called um, The Little Buddha. I don't know, some of you may have seen it. The Little Buddha. And it's about this American kid that some of the Tibetan lamas, they come and approach the, the little boy and his family and, and they uh, believe that he's the reincarnation of the Buddha. And anyway, it's, it's, you know, it is a Hollywood movie, but that part I don't care about is that there is a part that they're telling the story of how uh, Gautama Buddha became enlightened. And in this story, there's a part that is showing that the Buddha is sitting under the Bodhi tree and is in complete deep meditation. And as he is completely focused, all of his desires begin to appear and his desires appear in front of him in a form of five beautiful women. And they start doing their dance and they're trying to pull, pull him out of his meditation because he's really focused on the self, on the beauty of I am, on the essence of the I am. And the sense is trying to pull him out of it. And he doesn't give it any attention. He remains in his center. And then there is comes these hardcore storms. These tsunamis starts to come towards him. Huge uh, waves are coming to fall on him and destroy him. And they're real. And he's still sitting in his meditation. He's still focused on the source. And he doesn't pay any attention on this storm of life. And then the tsunami, the waves, they disappear. And then the next thing is like this really dark, ugly army of demons, opposition. They come facing him. And they're all pulling their arrows with flame on top of the arrow. And they're shooting like 10,000 arrows to him. And it still remains. He doesn't try to duck or cover himself. 
he stays completely focused in his center and all the arrows that coming to him flaming arrows they turn into roses and they fall in front of his feet and I won't tell you the rest of it. You should watch it. It's called Little Buddha. And watch this movie. You will enjoy it. And you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm sending you lots of love and light and keep connected with, with us, with me. My website is zaratustra.tv. Uh, we're going to try to live stream some of the events at the Conscious Life Expo. So, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to keep connected. I send you a lot of love. Namaste.